Hello and welcome to another edition of Client for Life. I just wanted to talk today about how many people that are coming to us really to start their investing on the foundation of a good family budget. Only one in 10 Australians budget. And I would say nearly every second client I'm winning at the moment is coming to solid because they really like the concept of investing with their surplus cash only. So once they've established the income levels coming into the family, what the expenses are going out, and and really focusing on the surplus. And one of the things that I love, particularly if you're on your own and investing, your dollar is under so much pressure because you don't have the benefit of the double income. So it's really important to, to get all those expenses out, get the trends happening, understand when bills are due, and really focus on harnessing the surplus. Because it makes sense, if you're buying a brand new property in a good location, and you're attracting a good tenant, and you're surrounded by a lot of amenities, your rent is going to be higher than somebody who's a couple of kilometres away from those types of amenities. So once we've got really, really good rents coming into our properties, obviously we don't overpay for the purchases in the first instance. Once you understand your surplus, the less money you are out of pocket, the higher the rate of your ability to continue to invest will be. So there's absolutely no mistaking it. The people who harness their spending, that have that free up more surplus, focus on debt reduction on their own homes, allocate surplus to accumulation of assets. And once the family homes pay down, let's start putting some more into super. Why do we like super? I love super because it's sort of quarantined, it's sort of put to one side for when you strike the big retirement, the big R. So once your family home is paid off, start focusing on your super in unison with building your property portfolio. There is only one way to retire well, and that is to plan for it. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So let's get out those sort of spending habits. Let's get the rhythm going. Let's really look at how you can harness the surplus and buy that extra investment property. Do you know, just by making a few lifestyle changes, you can buy one extra investment property in 10 years? just by tweaking things ever so slightly. And interestingly enough, the difference could be $40 a week. So what are you spending? What are you spending $40 on a week that you could possibly cut back on? Interesting thought, I'll leave you on that note. Thank you so much for listening.